Hello Blogineers, today we're going to unbox and demo another KiwiCo Eureka crate and this time we'll be building a soap dispenser. This is a monthly subscription box that lets you build cool stuff and if this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Let's open it. Here's the maker's guide which has all the information we'll need as well as the step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, so here are the contents of everything that's inside this Eureka crate. And up here they tell you the building stuff. So the key components are the rotor, tubing, and push button switch. The, the skills, skills we'll are... need are plastic assembly. Is there no wood? Yeah, there's no wood. This is hey, the first don't oh, sorry. It. Could... Okay. This is the first time we're doing a Kiwico Eureka crate that doesn't have wood. Complexity is medium, and the time is one hour, which is one of the few, uh, one of the quickest ones that we've ever seen. They also tell you some information about the soap dispenser. Yeah, for example, on this page is the history of hygiene. Blubbery bubbles. Throughout much of history, soap was made from a blend of ashes and animal fats. Sounds gross, but the science checks out. Even today, making soap usually involves combine, combining fats or oils with lye. Thankfully, most modern soap makers swap out the whole blubber and beef fat for pleasant smelling ingredients like coconut oil or cocoa butter. Okay, uh, after that, they get to the building phase. Yeah, so, so here is what we'll be building. Finally, before we get to building, is the components. Here's a gray thing. It's Plastic. Some more plastic. Are these plastic? Yeah, they're. I think they're plastic. They're plastic. Cheese. No, are they? Yeah, maybe. Here's the hand soap. Because of course, if you're making a soap, oh, they provide the soap, soap, so you don't have to go out and buy it. You can just use. So it. There's some screwdrivers, bolts, and washers and stuff. Batteries, very important. Here is where you put all the soap in. I think. It's called the reservoir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's where all the soap will stay. And some sticky foam, my favorite. And of course, some zip ties. They have to have zip ties. Always, there's always zip, sticky, zippy, sticky foam and zip, zip ties. Well, not I, always zip ties, but there's always sticky foam. Yeah. You need sticky foam. So the booklet does say this will take an hour, but usually it takes double of whatever this is. Or maybe a half. It's for 14 double. years at. Eureka Crate is for 14 years and up, and we're not 14, but our combined age is 14, so it's But the fun. combined age doesn't, yeah. Okay, yeah. that is the unboxing. This looks pretty fun, and I'm glad that there's no wood, because it's nice to have a break from wood after doing all the other stuff that all has wood. So, well, just get straight to the building. Yeah, what, I, what he said. What? Yeah. Here is part A, building the base. This is what the soap dispenser stands on. I declare that it's good. Yes. And also, stop and check. Press the circles on the switch plate. Yep, it clicks, so that means we're good. Part C, build the body. This is the main structure of the soap dispenser. Okay, but first, that's the most important. Yeah, first we need the base from part A, plus the gray radio thing. Hey, can I put it in? Can I put it in? Mm -hmm. We did step 11, which was, yeah, it was basically just screwing these back together, right? And now we add this. And we're back. Ah! Ah. Part D is making the pump. This is what moves the soap through the dispenser. 
So right now we have the reservoir with the where the sink will be, but if we were to press this button right now, nothing's gonna happen. All right, so of we need. Of course, nothing's gonna happen. There's no soap. And that is the Eureka Crate soap dispenser. Oh, wait, we have to do a demo. Okay, so now we popped open this lid, and now we're going to put some hand soap. Yeah, it says to do liquid soap, so I guess not foam soap, which is fine. We have liquid soap yeah. over here. We didn't use the other brand, only of, for the sake of the ingredients. You mean the KiwiCo soap? Yeah, but I mean, the KiwiCo soap has okay ingredients. We're just using our own. And ready? I'm going to yeah. pour it in. Here we go. Does it oh, say yeah. how much to fill? Yeah. Um, just as much as. Um, oh, you can hold a max. It can hold a maximum eight of eight ounces. fluid ounces. Put the cap back on when the reservoir is filled. So eight fluid ounces is like one cup. All right. I'm not gonna oh, fill it all the way. Yeah, though. don't fill it all the way. It's just thicker than this for the top. Well, this is deeper than I thought. This might take a while. Now we just put back this cap. Uh -huh. Put the cap on. And as long as we don't tilt this, it won't really spill. Uh, Wait. Um. Good. Okay. Okay. Now it's on, so yep. There's the soap. So uh, just do that. Can I go first? Okay, brother, go. Okay, so first I press this button and put Watch my out, hand it's under. Come. Ready? Make put sure they the can moment see. of truth. Oh, here. Here, how about I'll I'll press it just for the sake of the camera. Let me make sure the camera can see. The moment of truth, guys. <laughs> oh, I I'll just do it. Ready? Set and go. It will take a while at first. There! <laughs> it works! Okay, let me go wash my hands. <laughs> and that is it for the hand soap dispenser. Basically, you it's pretty simple. You just press the button, soap comes out, and worst case, if your hand somehow misses the the dispenser, you then the soap will just come down here. And you just dump it back. No, no, no. You No, it will just... Or <laughs> something. Uh, the leftover soap, you can dump it back. <laughs> All Who right. knows? No, because then it, will, it might not be super clean if it has oh, yeah. other stuff. Oh, but you can wash that first. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what I said. What? Whatever. Just go. Okay. Well, if, if this looks cool to you, you can... Hold on. First of all, brother, what did you think of this KiwiCo? I think it's going to be really useful. Yeah, I think too bad I think it's a pretty cool one. Yeah, as long as we don't get any water on it, it will start working smoothly. And it will be one of the most useful KiwiCo's ever. Yeah, because I can see us using this often. And it was basically really the only thing we have to worry about now is uh, if, the, if the thing on the back, the battery pack, gets wet then our whole thing is foiled. So if KiwiCo Eureka Crate looks interesting to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. Bye. Bye.